Hello, my name is Niall Meller from Acoustic Frontiers. Acoustic Frontiers is a DEX dealer in the United States. Today's video is going to be about the room correction functionality in the DEX units. I'm going to show you how to use the automated room correction functionality and then also how to tweak that uh, using the manual room correction approaches. So with the DEX calibration software open, we'll click on the measure room button. Today I'm not going to actually walk through the process of taking a room measurement. I'm going to use some that I've already taken. Um, so I've put, when I took these measurements, I put the microphone in the listening chair and I took four measurements, which is um, how my system is set up. There's a left speaker, a right speaker, and then a left and right sub. So there's four measurements. So now this is the actual window where you'll be controlling the uh, room correction functions. Um, DEX also refers to this as the DEX control panel uh, and it's the same window as if you press the DEX control panel button up here. Um, we're actually on the equalizer tab. So it's important to realize that um, when you're doing room correction um, the DEX processor needs to be connected because um, the actual parametric EQ filters that, that are applied in room correction, uh, those changes are made in real time. So it's actually possible whilst listening to music to adjust the correction filters and hear in real time the effects of those on uh, your, your listening experience. So this is a very cool feature and not one that I know any other products offer. Um, so because of the way my system is set up, you'll see the left and right speakers if we just deselect the left and right sub. The left and right speakers don't really have much output um, below say 150 hertz. Now I prefer to use digital room correction to only correct issues below about 120 hertz. Um, I'm a firm believer and Acoustic Frontiers recommends that we use passive acoustic treatment like uh, acoustic panels, um, diffusers, bass traps to deal with acoustic issues elsewhere within the range um, and also to use the DEX's speaker correction functionality to correct the uh, frequency response issues and the group delay and phase issues of each of the individual speaker drivers. Um, but we're not going to talk about those things today we're just going to focus on the room correction so let's just uh, ignore the left and right speakers for the moment and we'll just focus on the response of the left and right subwoofers. So we can see that there's a couple of areas here where um, there are peaks in the frequency response um, related to room modes, one here, one here. Now the response is pretty similar in both of the left and right subwoofers. So the DEX automated room correction process is very simple to use. All you do is click on the auto set EQ button. You'll then need to specify some parameters, the minimum frequency of correction, the maximum frequency, how many bands have been used, um, we'll choose seven bands, uh, the maximum boost and the maximum cut. So see so just by doing that, Drex, uh, the DEX product has actually created three filters, one here, one here, and um, one here. And it's possible to edit those filters manually by right clicking going to the properties and this brings up the uh, ability to edit each of the EQs, frequency, gain, Q and bandwidth. Um, Q and bandwidth are related and they define how sharp the filter is so we could change this to say one twelfth of an octave and that increases the Q. Um, a two octave is a very low Q. And you'll see if I picked a two octave filter it actually makes the filter very wide. Um, another way to interact with the filters is to um, drag on the graph and see so you can actually change the filter width like that. You can also change the center frequency by dragging and you can change the, uh, the depth or the uh, gain of the filter too. So that's one way to interact with the uh, filters. Another way um, and quite, quite another cool thing about the DEX product is you can hit the invert EQ button 
And then once you've done that, you can um, match up visually the filters so they look like the peaks that you're getting on the frequency response charts. I'll make this one a bit wider, a bit higher. There we go. Once you've done that and they and the filters look like the uh, the frequency response you're saying, you then hit the invert EQ button again, and that's basically created a filter set that's the inverse of the frequency response anomalies you're getting. So what you're going to find is that's pretty well cancelled out any of the issues you have. Um, the other thing I should probably remind you of is that remember there's ability to have uh, multiple room correction profiles. So we can we can set up one set of filters on profile three, a different set of prof, uh, filters on profile two. You notice there's different filters here, and a different set of filters on profile one. And then from your listening position, you can use the remote control to switch between profile two and profile three, whilst keeping all the other elements the same, i.e. the crossover frequencies and any correction filters you're applying. Um, and in that way, you can rapidly iterate uh, and nail the um, room correction process. So that's about it for room correction. You'll see, you know, I've shown you how very quick and simple it is to use. Um, if you have any questions, then please uh, email me uh, or you can find me on the web at nilemeller, uh, www.acousticfrontiers.com. My email address, nile, N-Y-A-L, at acousticfrontiers.com. Uh, so, th so thank you to, for watching the video today where I've explained uh, the room correction functionality in the DEX software product and the processes.